Hey everyone, it's Danielle from Exploring Alternatives. In this video, we're checking out a tiny Earthship at the Terra Perma Eco Resort in Harrington, Quebec. So it's basically a form of passive solar home that allows you to heat your home and keep it cool just by controlling the energy from the sun. There's one main wall in this Earthship and it's built in a U shape using recycled tires that are filled with earth and then they piled on a bunch of earth on top of that wall at the back so that the wall and that huge mound that they created form a thermal mass that can absorb energy from the sun and what that's meant to do is create an indoor temperature that's stable all year round. So they've got these huge south facing windows that let the sun in during the winter and then an overhanging roof to block the sun during the summer. This tiny earthship has a lot of really interesting sustainable features and it's a beautiful structure. So let's go take a look inside. When you first come into the earthship, there's a really generous sized entryway with a huge storage closet and a beautiful recycled bottle wall that must have taken hundreds of hours to create. Then you can come into the main room of the Earthship. And it's absolutely stunning in here. You've got the back side of the bottle wall here. They did some beautiful sculptures using cob on all of the walls and then they painted it with a natural lime paint. You've got a nice big log bed frame here, right in the center of the house. A cozy sitting area with a futon that stretches out so you can actually sleep four in here. Again, huge windows inside give you a really amazing view so you really feel like you're part of nature. There's a wood stove for supplemental heat in the winter and there's a small kitchen over here with a sink that's not plumbed so you have this water jug. There's a small propane cooktop here that's hooked up to a small propane tank outside. A little bit of space for storage and then they've got compost, garbage and recycling which I always like to see. A small kind of working and or dining room area and they've got a couple of plugs here that are attached to their solar system outside so that you can plug in a fan or a computer or whatever you want. And then just a small bookshelf. So overall it's a really beautiful space and you really do have everything you need in here except a shower and a toilet. There is an outhouse outside and for the shower this is part of a, an eco village, so there is a communal shower block not too far down the path. For us, if we were gonna live here, we would probably create a small little shower stall somewhere in the house. Because this is a miniature earthship, it doesn't have the exact proportions of a regular earthship. So from what we've learned from touring other earthships, this square footage of your window area is supposed to be 30% of the square footage of your floor space to get the right ratio of the energy from the sun, um, heating up the thermal mass in the back so that you're not uh, overheating the house and so that it's not too cold in the winter. So based on the amount of windows here, it's really beautiful, but I think it's probably more than 30%. So it is a little bit warmer in here during the summer. So what they've done to address that is they've got a little pump beside the bed that has a pipe going behind the house and into the mountain behind it. And basically that's allowing air to circulate through the pipe and cool down underground and then be recirculated into the Earthship. So it's bringing cool air in um, and circulating it through here to keep it cool. They've also got some curtains that you can put up when the sun's really bright. And they also have the large overhang as well, which is blocking the summer sun. Another thing you'd usually see in an Earthship is angled windows so that they're on an angle to the winter sun. These ones, they've put them in straight up and down so they're at right angles to the ground and the reason they did that is because it's a vacation rental and they just wanted to have lower maintenance so they didn't want to have a lot of dirt or snow collecting on the windows so that they'd have to come by all the time and clean them off. In case it does get colder in here in the winter they do have the wood stove and they have plans to have an in-floor radiant heating system so they have put pipes throughout the floor that they can fill up with glycol and then have that be heated by the wood stove so you would even have a heated floor. 
This tiny airship has a huge 1000 watt solar power system outside, which seems like a lot of energy for such a small space. One of the reasons why they put in such a huge system is because they are going to have a pump running the glycol through the floor 24 hours a day during the winter. Another really important component to an Earthship is that they're usually designed to collect rainwater. So this one doesn't have their gutter system set up yet, but they did create an angled roof and they do plan to add gutters so that they have a three season rainwater collection system to provide water for whoever's staying here. Terra Perma is an eco village that's trying to incorporate community and tourism and permaculture and sustainability all into one space. And it's really interesting. So they've got a residential area on this huge piece of land that they have where they're selling lots so that people can actually move here full time. Then they've got a cooperative business area so that residents of the eco village can create their own businesses and share resources. And then there's a the tourism area, which is where we are right now. And this is where they've built miniature models of green buildings so that people can come here and stay for a night or two or a week and experience what it's like to live in a tiny earthship or a yurt or another kind of uh, sustainable building. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video about the tiny earthship. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more like it.